Good morning, and welcome to the Morning Minute. In today's episode, I am covering the IRS Fresh Start Program. This is a program that is designed to help you pay your taxes. Now, I would love to turn the Morning Minute into a daily morning podcast, but until then, here is a bonus episode. I figured this information could help a bunch of you as we prepare for the tax window to open. If you are struggling to pay your federal taxes, the IRS Fresh Start Program for individual taxpayers and small businesses can help. The IRS began the Fresh Start in 2011 to help struggling taxpayers. Now, to help a greater number of taxpayers, the IRS has expanded the program by adopting more flexible offer and compromise terms. This expansion will enable some of the most financially distressed taxpayers to clear up their tax problems, possibly more quickly than in the past. Now, what is an offer in compromise, you may be asking? Well, the OIC is an agreement between a taxpayer and the IRS that settles the taxpayer's tax liabilities for less than the full amount owed. Generally, the IRS does not accept an OIC if they believe that the liability can be paid in full as a lump sum or through a payment agreement. The IRS looks at the taxpayer's income and assets to make a determination of the taxpayer's reasonable collection potential. OICs are subject to acceptance of legal requirements. So why is the IRS making this change? Aren't they the bad guys? Well, the IRS recognizes that many taxpayers are still struggling to pay their bills. So they have put in place common sense changes to the OIC program that more closely reflect real world situations. This expansion focuses on the financial analysis used to determine which taxpayers qualify for an OIC. These changes also enable some to resolve their tax problems in as little as two years compared to four or five years in the past. So let's take a look at how the program is changing. In certain circumstances, the changes include revising the calculation for the taxpayer's future income, allowing taxpayers to repay their student loans, allowing taxpayers to pay state and local delinquent taxes, expanding the allowable living expense allowance category and amount, and some of the other changes to the program include narrowed perimeters and clarification of when a dissipated asset will be included in the calculation of reasonable collection potential. In addition, equity and income producing assets generally will not be included in the calculation of reasonable collection potential for ongoing businesses. A common question now is how will the collection potential be calculated? When the IRS calculates a taxpayer's reasonable collection potential, it will now look at only one year of future income for offers paid in five or fewer months, which is down from four years, and two years of future income for offers paid in 6 to 24 months, which is down from 5 years. All offers must be paid within 24 months of the date the offer is accepted. Now, if this sounds like a program that you could really benefit from, here's how to apply or get more information. Information about the OIC program, including applicant qualifications, how to apply, and steps to complete the application process Form 656B Offer in Compromise Booklet and Form 656 Offer in Compromise is available now at irs.gov. I will also be leaving direct links in the description box below this episode. As always, don't forget to share this episode. Leave your thoughts on today's morning minute in the comments below. And don't forget to leave a rating and review if you are tuning in on a podcast platform. Have a great day.